pictured as two trains, one that has sergeant couplers, that's the one closest to the wall, and the nearest one has all KD number 58s. Total of five couplings, uh, six if you include the engine to tender coupling, and that would be interesting to show you how much slack difference there is between the two types. So at this end, I have the uh, car is more or less lined up with the end of a ruler. So I'm going to push the KDs back to give them some, to take up all the slack. The sergeants, use a thumb there, the sergeants are already moved all the way back. Can't get that back any further. Move the KDs all the way back, KD train all the way back, finger the other way again. And you'll see that uh, they are completely compressed. All the couplers are completely compressed. And uh, first thing when letting go is it takes that compression out, makes about an eighth of an inch. If I stretch it to full length until, and this includes a little bit of slack in the uh, drivetrain of the engine as well, uh, it goes from zero, so we get a focus on that there. It goes from a zero mark at the pilot beam to about a half inch. Now compare that to the uh, sergeant coupled train and it stretches very insignificantly. Let's see, it's going about, oh, that's going less than one ties, one full, maybe one full tie from middle tie to middle tie. So you can see the difference there and it's quite, quite obvious one if you look down the length of the train. And Pull this down if you'll see this or not. Yeah, pull slack in now. So I'm pushing on the flat cars on both both trains, and you can see the uh, significant difference. A little bit of lighting down this way. A little significant difference between the trains as far as how much it moves. Not necessarily a problem one way or the other. Just a uh, interesting difference between the two.